First things first, let's celebrate Taylor's recent triumph at the 2024 Grammy Awards. She snagged not one, but two awards. Best Pop Vocal Album and Album for the Year for Midnight's, marking her 10th studio album released in 2022. But honestly, who's surprised? This woman practically collects Grammys like they're going out of style. This album made so much noise, it practically sold 1.5 million copies in the first week. Bloomberg spilled the tea, mentioning it pulled in a cool $230 million for Universal in 2022, making up 3% of their annual revenue, the highest from any artist. That's more money than most of us will ever see in our lifetimes, combined with our grandma's inheritance and a lucky lottery win. Now Midnight's might not be Taylor's best-selling album, but it's breaking records of its own selling 6 million album equivalent units in its first eight weeks and moving 500,000 vinyl copies in the first week. It's on track to potentially break Swift's own sales records. The year's tour is a significant contributor set to head to Central and South America, keeping the album's momentum alive. Maybe because of that, Taylor Swift becomes richer again and again, with estimated net worth stands at a staggering $1.1 billion, placing her among the wealthiest self-made women in the U.S., Yes, you heard it right. Billion. Move over, Elon. Let's break it down like a high-end diamond necklace. Music powerhouse? Over 200 million album sales worldwide, earning a cool $175 million from streaming platforms. Touring Titan? Era's tour projecting $500 million. Real estate queen? $200 million in properties, including a beach house in Rhode Island. Brand collaborations? Another $100 million in the bag. From Diet Coke to CoverGirl, Taylor's face is everywhere. But here's the best part, Taylor's not just a pretty face with a killer voice. She owns the masters of her music, a rarity in the industry which means she gets a bigger slice of that sweet, sweet pie. Quick fact, average VIP tickets for the Eras tour cost a smooth $1.2 million. Taylor's Rhode Island Beach House? Valued at a jaw-dropping $50 million. And Midnight's sales in 2023? A whopping $230 million. Now that's a mic drop moment. Seriously, she's practically collecting those golden gramophones like I'm collecting late night snacks. And the Grammy goes to... Taylor Swift for Midnight's. I can't believe that such talented woman like her is still shocked when she won a Grammy. I mean, she even wins Grammy almost every year. 2010, 2012, 2013, and 2024. Cause I'd be shocked if I hit 100,000 subscribers since I don't usually win subscribers every year. <clears throat> Taylor's success isn't just about the numbers, it's a whole lifestyle. Private jets, designer clothes, and vacations that make the Maldives jealous, all thanks to her hard work and smart moves. But not only Taylor Swift has a successful journey and inspiring. There's a dude from Sports Universe who's not just flexing with cool cars and businesses, he's also playing MVP in making the world better. He drops an $80 million scholarship bomb for kiddos back in his hometown. Yeah, there are still rich people in this world who genuinely care about the world they live in.